The next type of a variable is instance variable. So let us see what does this in instance variable do. Instance variables are nothing but non-static variable. What is static and non-static we will learn in detail. But for now it is a non-static variable which is used to store the about the object. So it stores whatever state is of the object. And these are declared under the class but outside any method, constructor or a block of statement. So the variable that you define or declare inside the class but lies outside any of the methods are instance variables. And these instance variables can be accessed by any of the methods that those are declared inside the class. And do you have any default value for these instance variables? Yes, we do have default value. For number, it will be 0. For boolean, it will be false. And in case of object reference, it says that it will be null. But you need to understand how and when we use them. Why do we create instance variable? An instance variable is mainly created if it needs to be used multiple times in a class. If you declare a variable inside a method, it will not be accessible by any other method or outside that method. But if you create a variable inside a class, this variable can be accessed by any of the methods. Therefore, it is called instance variables. And these variables can have access modifier as in case of local variable that did not have any access modifier. What are access modifiers? These are nothing but like public, private and so on which defines the visibility of this variable within the class or outside the class. Now how do you call these variables or how do you use these variables inside the method? These can be called directly with the name of a variable or by providing an object reference. So let us take a real time example again class being a human and the methods being sleeping, walking and so on. What are the normal or a common variables that can be used in these methods? It may be the name of a human. So we create a variable called string name equal to so and so. So every time we call these variable inside each of these methods, we say if the sleeping method is called, please print the value of name. If next method is called, please use this name and so on. So let us see with an example, how can you use these instance variable. In this example, we have created a variable called C which is of an integer type and this variable which is declared int c semicolon is an instance variable because this is declared inside the class and outside any of the method. Here we have certain methods. The first one says addition, second is difference. So what we are trying to do here is that we are trying to find out the sum of value and store it in C. We are trying to find the difference of the value and store it in the C. It means this variable is being accessed or called by different methods. This variable is a common variable which is being used again and again. So let us see in case of our first method we have declared two local variables that is a and b. Here this a and b is local to addition method and cannot be called by any other method. In this case, we are trying to sum of A and B and store it in C. Therefore, it will print the value of C. In the second method, again we call A and B and then the value. In this case, we have created two different integers X and Y and this X and Y is local to difference. However, you can here use A and B again because the integers defined here are never confused with the variables defined in any other method as those variables defined under any particular method cannot be called outside it. So here if you have defined int a equal to so and so, b equal to so and so, these variables will be different with those variables defining under addition method. However, here x is so and so, y is 150. Now we are trying to find the difference between x and y and store it in c. So we are reusing the C variable. So you need to first 
declare the variable and what would be the values or initialize or how you would use that we need to define under each of the method or each of the methods or the classes wherever you are using them. So, in case of first method which is addition, we are reusing the variable, you just need to provide the variable name equals to whatever the value, you do not have to again write int. If you would have written here as int c, then this int c would have become local to this addition method. Whereas, we have declared the variable outside and we are using that variable to store the value. Now, in our main method, we shall call this method to print the value. And how do you call is that under main method, you need to first create an object reference. And how you create an object reference to your class is that you provide the class name, then an object reference name that you can give of your wish equals to new operator. This new operator helps you in declaring and creating an object instantiation. So, new followed with the constructor name and then parameters, those parameters will instantiate a new object of type this class and the class name is instance variable. Why are we doing this? If you remember in our previous slide, we spoke about how you can access the variables or how you can access the method. So, in order to access the variable, you can use an object reference followed with your variable name. So, here if you wanted to call C, for the example, you have printed here some value, we say string name is equal to Monica and now you want to call that value, you could have directly called with a variable name. Now, because you want to call the method, how you do is that you provide your object reference name dot addition will call this method and execute then again different it will call and execute. We can see this practically how we execute and how it happens for our better understanding. With the help of this example, let us learn about the instance variable. What an instance variable is all about. By now we know how you declare a local variable and what a local variable to a method is. Let us learn what are instance variable. With the theory, it is clear that an instance variable are those variables which are declared inside the class but outside any of the methods. That is, you do not declare the instance variable inside the method. You just declare them outside the methods but inside the class. So, we have created a class called instance variable and we have created one variable called c which is of integer type and this variable is instance variable because this is declared in the class but outside all the methods and the first method that we have declared here is addition and this method returns nothing that is nothing but void. So, this method holds certain local variable to calculate the sum of two integers that is 10 and 20. So, this a and b are local variable to addition. But why have we declared or why have we used the instance variable under the addition? So, the main point about the instance variable is that instead of defining or declaring or instantiating the variable or the instance variable again and again it is used where you think the variable will be reused in future. It is recommended to create that variable as an instance variable. So, this variable integer c can be reused in any of the methods or throughout the class. So, the second method that you have created is difference where you are trying to find out the difference value of x and y and then store the difference in c. That is again you are reusing the instance variable. If you did not declare the instance variable here, you had to declare this variable separately as a local variable in each of these methods. Therefore, instance variable is helpful for you to avoid rewriting of the code and you can reuse which saves your memory as well. Finally, in the main method, we have first instantiated our class. Now, 
what happens when you create your main method now whenever you run your program first it will look for your main method that is the JVM will first look for your main method and then start executing the block of statements and when it execute it will first see if there is an instantiation of your class and how do you instantiate your class is that you write the class name then space and then you give any name for your class that is a dummy name for your class equals to new this new keyword or new operator enables you to create an object reference for your class when you say object reference it means it is a blueprint of your this particular class and followed with your constructor name that is nothing but your class name okay and this is empty parameters now to call each of the methods of the class you use this object reference so you write the object reference dot the method name and it will call your first addition method so now when it executes the block of statement that is once first it executes the instantiation of your class it will also check if there is any instance variable so first it will create an instance for the class and then create if there is any class or instance variables after that it will start executing the block of statements therefore the next statement is addition then it will come and execute this block of statement followed with your difference so let us execute this program and as you can see it uses c to store the sum of value and then the difference of value so this is how you differentiate between the local and the instance variables and you know when does this instance variable create when you run your main method and how instance variables are reused again and again without recreating an n number of methods